Hello. Make sure that everything is set up correctly. You're alive, that's good. Hello, hello. Make sure I'm recording and streaming at the same time, because that would be bad if I wasn't. Also, I have everything turned down, so it's not uh, me popping out the mic again like what happened last time. That was awful. Everything should also be sitting to the correct area. Turn down my gain slightly just to make sure that I don't go over again. Hopefully the audio is good because everything was turned up way too high the first time. And that was not good. No drop frames. Okay, everything is looking good. How's everybody doing tonight? stream just went from questionable to good so that's fantastic well let me open where we left off prologue in yeah okay okay so for i should actually do something real quick let me throw something into uh the description. I should probably also open up my bot. Bunch of stuff that I forgot. Fudge. Not on my game. Wait, where is he? Where even is my bot? something because it's something that'd be good to set up from here on out Okay, uh, that's added. Let me add that to the stream live spot. Sup, Leanna, how you doing? And I need to add that to my timers. Group timers. I'm just gonna call this playlist. Move 
miss. Sorry, I forgot about doing this. I'd rather get this out of the way first. Okay, there we go. Okay, sorry. Had to set everything up to make sure everything was good. Um, excuse me? I uploaded nothing. Why are you doing that? Bot, excuse me? Bot. I really need to turn it off for now. I don't need it for what I'm doing. Ooh, what game is this? It's called Danganronpa. It is... A very very good game sorry I was just setting uh, commands up so if I do exclamation point playlist there we go should probably also make the playlist public because all the all the streams are uh, unlisted because I don't want it to like take up a lot of space but I want people to be able to access it if they've missed anything let me video manager playlist because I because I do want to compile them together There we go. Everything should be good now. Yay, now we can actually freaking start. Sup, Pedro? How you doing? How's it going, boys? Ugh, sorry. I had to make sure everything was set up there. Because I just thought about it. That would be very, very good for future people coming in. Um... But hello, welcome to Danganronpa. All you guys miss, have missed is the prologue, setting everybody up, introducing everybody, setting up the premise. But that is literally it. You have missed nothing else. Nothing has happened. It's literally just been setting up characters. Actually, I'm going to go get a drink before starting. Okay, yeah, back. <laughs> I know nothing about Danganronpa. I haven't watched the first two parts, but I'm here for this one. Same. Yeah, this is the first one I've made public because, like, the more I think about it, the more it's, like, there's no real point in me having it, like, private. 
or unlisted because it's going to be unlisted anyway after the fact and the only way to access it is, is if you're actually looking for it because I don't want to be like front and center and taking up space in my video section um because I want it I want to cut it together and do stuff with it like a funny moments or most important moments sort of thing so I don't want to like keep everything up but for people that actually like do want to go through I'm like I want to set like all the playlist stuff up so uh, if you've yeah you guys have missed nothing it's literally just been setting up the premise um, so right now, all you need to know is that there's 15 high school students trapped in a school and the only way for someone to get out, um, is if they kill someone else and get away with it. That's basically all you've missed. Just setting up the premise. So let's jump right into it. Let me take a sip of my vitamin water. Also, you're going to hear my horrendous voice acting. It is awful. So, here we go. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't even clicked on the right thing. Shh, shut up. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. And everyone else dies, right, if they don't... If they don't kill the person they die no if they don't figure out who's killed the person but i think they're going to clarify that next it took everything i had just to endure that weight chapter one to survive this game was actually like released originally on the playstation vita so that's why like the graphics aren't the greatest because they had to save space and it just got ported to PC. All it took it all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her point and comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us ba all back to reality. This is the guy that I basically voice is shouting all the time. I know the basic rules of the universe, but not the characters at war. Well, uh, the guy, the girl that was just talking, I, I'll fill you in as we go. The girl that was just talking was the ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark, who doesn't know what her ultimate is. Because basically everyone has, like, a special talent that they're just really good at. Um, person doesn't know what her special talent is, but then this person is the ultimate moral compass, who is overly aggressive so that's why i have him yelling all the time right she's right Listen to me. sometimes he also uh what makes it even better is that my sister's in the next room playing overwatch <laughs> so she's just gonna listen to me yell the entire time sometimes even if you're nervous or afraid you just have to step forward to forget such a simple fact i cannot forgive myself i'm so ashamed How much do I know about this one? I have played all three games. I know everything about these games, but I'm playing through them all over again because I want to make uh, a video on it. Like I want to not only make like a funny moments or like a important moments sort of thing, but I also want to make a full video talking about all the major entries in the Danganronpa series, sort of like what I did with, uh... <laughs> exactly. Um, but... What I want to do is... Basically, uh... The same thing I did with, um... 
uh, fudge. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, then, like, making, like, a whole script and everything. I want to do a video discussing every major entries in the Danganronpa franchise, including Danganronpa 1, Danganronpa 2, Danganronpa 3, the anime, Danganronpa V3, and Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra, Dis Ultra, Ultra Despair Girls. I think that's what it's called, because I just bought it. I haven't played that. That's the only one that I haven't looked at, so I know nothing about that one. Thank you, dude. It means a lot. But, because that, it's not going to come out uh, soon. Going to touch on any of the short stories? I feel like if I try to touch on the short stories, I'm going to miss one and someone's going to be mad at me. I might read them on my own, but I'm not going to discuss them uh, during the video. Because if I miss one, someone, like, they're going to be like, oh, why didn't you discuss that? So I'm going to mainly focus on the, like, the core entries. And, like, I'll, I'll briefly discuss, like, like, briefly reference Danganronpa Zero. I haven't looked at that. I know that it exists, and I know that there's, like, other, uh, manga and stories that I have, that I know nothing about. So, I, I don't want to miss something and have someone go, like, oh, but you missed that. So, that's why I want to focus on. Has references to Zero. I'll, like, I'll read through Zero, but I might not discuss it. Like, if it turns out to be really important... Then I I might bring it up. Uh, I I know it has references to Ultra Ultra Despair Girls, and obviously one and two. Cause I've watched I watched all the way through it, but I, I didn't know that it had references to Zero. It might be in the characters of the uh, of the killing game of the Despair arc. Uh, no, not the despair arc, the future arc. So that might be why I had no idea all of the people there. So I'll have to read through it to see if it was like a super important part. Oh, alternate ending of the first game. So yeah, so yeah, I'll read through zero and see if it's important enough to include. But I do want to make like a really long video discussing uh, all the major entries because. Honestly, I love this franchise so freaking much. Um, it's great. I uh, I love all the twists, and that's why it's like if for people that have no idea, I'm going to keep it as spoiler free as possible. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to make any references to anything that's going to happen in the future or make as few as possible, because the most enjoyable part about Danganronpa is not knowing anything. It's the twists and turns that make it great. Because that is that is honestly the best part. Going through losing losing your cool the entire time. I think the ending to V3, I had to leave the room three times. And it was like 2 a.m. when I finished it. But like I had to re leave the room multiple times just to calm down. Because it 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 pulls you in. I love it. So, let's continue with my yelling. So, <laughs> please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. S somebody hit me. Punish me. <laughs> my sister is going to be judging me so hard right now. Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. Look for a way out. Duh. And we totally need to figure out whoever is was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but before we do any of that, maybe we should look. Maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best if we check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble, if we stumble around with no clue about what the rules are, something that like that might happen again. All right. Fine. Then let's hurry out and check the stupid rules already. So this is where it introduces all the rules. Makoto Nayagi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. Uh, simple enough. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. And then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. 
the atomized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the, rule be the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is, unaccept is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please ex exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. <clears throat> Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is the destruction of surveillance cameras. Oh yeah, I'm a lot earlier. I haven't- I've only- I just finished the uh, prologue. This is only like the third stream, and the first one was literally just Monokuma- I'm not Monokuma, uh, Makoto complaining about how normal he is. Uh, like, again, I just finished the prologue. The first the first stream was is literally just 15 minutes. It was the test run to make sure everything worked. And now the second stream was an hour. And I hope this one's going to be a, a slightly longer. As is the destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. <laughs> this is... Okay, so like, this is the whole reason that I didn't like make a video about it earlier. It's because I know there's a like, lot of language. Um, so that's why I'm keeping like all the streams unlisted after the fact. Because it's like, I don't agree with the language. Or it's like, I want to keep keep it as quote-unquote family friendly as possible but uh yeah this this is not a family friendly series of games i freaking love them though they're great this is stupid what kind of rules are these i'm not gonna let them control me well then why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens personally i would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules but if he got punished like what we saw before i don't think they'd be a respawn waiting for him uh -oh. Okay, I could've sworn I heard someone walking around. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it even if it kills him. So what? what? Oh no, it's not- it's not that bad. It is not that bad. Although, the second game gets into, uh, some- <clears throat> fan service, which is another topic that I'll hit on in the video, which is something I completely disagree with. I feel like it takes away from the enjoyability of the game. Like, if I want to be depressed and play through my murder mystery game, I do not want to see any boobs <laughs> or any references <laughs> to boobs. <laughs> it's the same thing with a uh, Near Automata, Automata, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, I got the game because I knew uh, the the storyline would make you question and is like super depressing and existential. And I'm like, I <laughs> I don't need me some fan service in my uh, my depressing narrative. Okay, I'm playing it for the game. It's like I'm like the the way I compare it to is literally I'm watching the beach episode for the plot and not lying about it. I made a ton of promises I still have to keep. That's so what. I can't afford to die here. None of that would make much sense to me, but you are saying that you will follow the regulations. Is that it? Huh? Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think that means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? You see PewDiePie's rewinds? Yes, and it was beautiful. I was wondering about that myself. It does. It really does. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out that it was you. 
But why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Don't jab at me. More like a full-on stab. Well, for now. Oh, fudge. What what voice did I give her? It was like peppy. Subscribe to TC. You are going to get banned. Well, for now, let's forget about that silly junk about murders or whatever. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, we need to find out exactly where we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Okay, let's start looking around. I'll be going alone. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might have already started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying that we should stand around with them in our midst and make it much easier for them? Wait, hold on a second. That would never... Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when the graduation rule was made clear for to you. Am I wrong? But... So, I'm simply adding, acting on accordance with what I think is best for me. Hold on. hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. Out of my way, Plankton. What? I'm not Karen. What's that supposed to mean? One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea, so minuscule, so insignificant, they can't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna kick her. Stop it, we shouldn't fight! What did you just say? Some kind of goody goody little... <laughs> also, I'm not gonna, like, because I'm not gonna, I, I'm personally not gonna say anything very bad, so I'm gonna keep it as, as, uh, personally saying anything as possible. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my dad or something? No, I wasn't. Oof! He punched me, and I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next set I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all those ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. I'm in a Discord group where we're making up the plot of a movie and it's the best script I've ever heard. You're going to have to send me it on Discord. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade before it finally cut out completely. When I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Yeah, yeah. Huh? W where am I? As if I had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I've never seen before. Okay, so, where am I now? You now have ac access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use this manual to check the school regulations and blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. It's a notepad. I guess the school must be must have given it one to each of us. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I didn't really need it, need it right now, so I guess I'll just leave it here. This must be the key to the room. I'm very confused. Now I don't want to know more. I'm good now. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? Better hang on to it for now. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. 
This would appear to be the bathroom. Oh, it's not opening. I guess it's locked. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see anything kind of trapdoor or hidden compartments or anything. I got a mono coin. What's this? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's locked has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls! For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any t of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. Let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. <laughs> he has to win one-on-one. -on -one. Fox only final destination. No items. <laughs> I, um, I'm done. I'm done. I quit. Can I? In stream. In stream. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. By the way, am I too loud? Is is any of like the audio popping or is the audio balance off? Like, let me know, because I do see myself going into the red. Not really. If there's anything I need to fix, let me know, because I know if I get too close to the mic. Okay. And I think we're done exploring here. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, right? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be mine. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. Next question is... What's everyone else to up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Better skedaddle. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there's someone waiting for me there. It's like something out of an old TV show. Ah. <laughs> Anime Tropes 101. Ah! When you don't need to voice act on your own. I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I'm actually pretty I'm actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down a stage. That's good then. But are you okay? You know from when Bondo hit you? That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto? Oh, I'm fine, nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good, I was kind of worried. Th th thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Um, Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well, if you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go through, do their own thing. We decided it would be m more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you in the dining hall then. Uh new Oh Okay, so best part about this is you can like strafe and I just really like drifting around. New. Okay, sorry. Dining hall. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Or I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. 
Okay, let's just wait here. Huh, you heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is that really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial. Reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, when you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, you press the right mouse button and you'll go into reaction mode. Oh, you're familiar with reactions? Well, just in case, let me explain. At this point, you can use the WAS buttons and left click to confirm it. Also, when it comes to, comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to do and your importance to go live. Ah, have you gone ahead and used it? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep in mind as the story keeps moving forward. And it's never used for some reason. Like, that's... It's not bring, brought up in the second or third game. And it's rarely used in this game, if I remember right. Probably look at the time so I actually know what time it is. Um, so, what time is it right now? What, 7 o'clock at night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. With... Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay at this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Crazy? I was crazy one. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. The rats drive me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto? Oh, what is it? Uh... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of a continuing self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> continuing your self-introductions? Um... We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayako, Sayako wanna just ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto. Oh, what is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but... What kind... But I wanted to ask you something. What? What did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in Class 2? Yeah, actually, I was. I knew it! I went there too! I was in class 4 though, do you, do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. <laughs> yes, I am completely fine. Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. We went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of other students that are great, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Makoto? I swear. Suck it up, man. <laughs> Seriously, the entire, like, 15 minutes of the first stream, you could just sum into one sentence of... Makoto complains about being normal for 15 minutes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, Makoto, stop beating yourself down, boy. It's okay. You're good. What are you talking about? You're so strange. <laughs> Not sure that's the next extreme to go to, but you know. Strange, that's... She started giggling even louder. That's somehow... That somehow a mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Mikoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing compared to all you ultimates. But you're the one who helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And thank to you and thank you for helping me out. I'm gonna be your ultimate assistant. My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it just gets me pumped up. Hey, um... I can't believe there's no one here yet, but I'm sure they'll show start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it, Taka threw open the door uh, dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Wav, tu wav, mawage. Mowage is why we have gathered here today. <laughs> I love- like, okay, Taka- Taka- Taka's a cool character, right? Taka's- he, he's- he's a good boy. I just have to yell. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Now this sip of water. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Makoto, Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? 
Too bad, I was sure I'd beat everyone here. Guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. That's a, that's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After, after a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. I keep slurring my words. I'm trying, okay. man. It looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. Uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Hmm. She's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um, I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Ky Kyoka shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed. Oh, fudge. Okay, Monokuma's voice hurt last time that I did it, so let's see if I can do it again. I literally spent like five minutes trying to figure it out. <laughs> Stabbing strangle No. <laughs> Fudge. Holy cow, man. Okay, last time I could do it because there was no one watching. Now there's people watching. I get to embarrass myself all over again. <clears throat> Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko. Do you really have to be late like this on your first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone to be late. That she would be late. The most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jerk right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare the first session of Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Mikoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe you should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know. Huh, what's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. She's done nothing for you. <laughs> This man be smitten. Oh, I thought there was someone over Oh, no, there is someone over here. Hello. I can't click on you. Where's the... There we go. Oh, no, I can only click on... I think I should leave... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see. But Yaka... Byakuya Biyaku and Taka went off. Each went off on their own. So did Kyoko. I tried to and find a clue to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. Well, unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Right. Un understood. Yada yada yada. Uh, let's talk to Taka next. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... There, I made some discoveries of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Each door has already a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was er in earlier is, in fact, my room. Um, and Jahira and I found that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um, Your next door neighbor would, could scream their lungs out, and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also has a private bathroom, which you could also lock. Um, but it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird, I should double check that later. Hey. 
So, okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're going to be here a while. Well, it's better, th better to have that than not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. Th that could be all you have to re report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Wait. Sorry. I'm moving some things. Oh, I thought it was offline for a second. Oh, I was about to be slightly panicked. Because it showed offline on my screen. I was like, no. That would have been bad. Okay, sorry. Let's continue. Okay, sorry about that. Yada yada yada. Looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. Budge. Same goes to for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hafumi were left over, so they joined up. Okay, so let's talk to that first group first. You see. We went up but all and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Nothing. Not a thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. There isn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This, this sucks. Bad, bad, it really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What are we gonna do? Come on. Calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Um... Big oof. Oh, wait. Fudge. No, stop. There we go. Okay. You see. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. I went back to the main hall thinking we could do something about the giant hook of metal. But even with Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. It was as hard as metal. Well, it is metal. Anyway, we're, we're gonna get out of here. It's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. I should tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and the dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we're only able to search the first floor. We could further assume that there are potentially something on the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead a w to a way out. Um. Yada yada yada, just check that, and then finally the last group. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we asked it as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we're not the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What? What were you thinking? Just sitting around the gem the whole time? Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. I can't blame you for leaving me out. It, it's your fault. If you wanted to go with someone, you could have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I'd want to go anywhere with someone like you. <laughs> Oof. 
Your mind, or <laughs> no? I started doing a uh, Fumbi's voice. Your mind, or as thin as your body, you make me sick to my stomach. I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, All right, guys, everybody, just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey. So, that's what they have to say, huh? I guess I'm the only one left. Tell me everything that you know! I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen. It was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. I guess we don't have to be wor- I, don't I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How can- How long can the food last? You can just eat some sesame seeds or something. Huh, what am I, a parakeet? I don't think we have to worry about that. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least, that's what Monokuma said. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere when I was checking the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone can, could have been moving him around with a remote control. A weaponized toy that could appear from anywhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But everything was okay. He didn't, like, eat you or anything? Eat her? What do you mean by that? When you say eat, what kind of eating are you talking about? Hey, you bastard. Oof. Actually. Not, like that, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could die any second. Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something, or... Voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Do you really think we can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of this situation? Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What the- Where did you find this? It doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! Never mind that, what does it mean? Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So, what you're saying is this really is Hope's Peak Academy? Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? I don't know all the details yet. All we found was details about the first floor. But then, this is really Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid that's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite is supposed to come and learn. But if this is really Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on guys, let's stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? Man, if I get stressed every single- every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What? What's so funny? I'm just happy, that's all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out, didn't find any... Who's behind this? We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal, crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with this? It's perfectly obvious that we've been prison in some secret location with no way out. None of none of us had a response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. N no way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Don't even joke about that. Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. There's got to be something we can do. All we can do is adapt. Adapt to our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you a lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. 
Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who came out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What, what do you mean? We all understand that we are trapped here. Which means that we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 7 p.m. to... No, 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. I had it switched. I'm an idiot. Fudge, where did this thing that I dropped go? There it is. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be sleeping. Seen as sleeping in class and will be punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. School regulations do not tell us do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try to come and kill us. What? If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you suggested we limit our activity to, at night as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike all the other worlds, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like a little, <laughs> little goth little leader said. Without something like that, we're all going to self-destruct. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. So everyone here is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you will excuse me. Huh? Where are you going? It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. Well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, left Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Oh. So, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Mm. So, Mr. Chairman, what comes next? One person already left. <laughs> um... Well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Do we really have to stay the night here? We, do? we don't have a choice. We can't go long without getting some sleep. So we have to just give up? That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do, do tomorrow? Only option is to split up and look around again and let anyone, everyone know if we find anything. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Pakoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to sleep. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. This Wrong! Not locked! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like, some kind of robot bear ghost. W what are you doing here? Makoto Nagegi! This is a super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra mega. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> in point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is because it isn't because it's locked. It's the door just doesn't fit. <gasps> Did you see the notice? What, you can't read? The bathroom at the boys' rooms don't have locks. I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? I mean, it's not pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert in the birds and the bees and all that. Anyway, here's a little trick to opening this particularly ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm going to be here to teach you. Okay, ready? All you need to do is turn the doorknob and then lift up when you pull. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door open while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. 
anyway. I certainly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! H hey, wait. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I love one of Kim's voice actor. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can try to do all I can do now is try to get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed onto the bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I wasn't ready for bed and was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept a situation we've been suddenly dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I'd woken up, when I woke up, I'd realize that it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to revive your ideals. You can't do Monokuma's voice without yelling. It's something. It's, it's just something that you can't do. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe, maybe I should go find Siaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. The chat is dead. <coughs> I swallowed wrong. Ah. Uh. <coughs> Heck. Also, game audio? Okay, I'll turn it up. I was just looking at that. Hopefully that's better. You can't hear the- Oh, okay. I'll turn it up a bit louder. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With newfound determination, I left my room. What does my room? Also, is that better? Or should I turn it down a bit? Because I might have turned it up too far, actually. I'll turn it down a bit. Because I know that I turned it up probably a bit. There we go, that's good. Is that good? Down a little? Okay. Down a little further? Okay, this is good. Just making sure final, final good notice. Okay, good. Good morning, Makoto. Good morning. <laughs> yes, morning's greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we all do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Yes, he is always like this. That's not a spoiler. It's just kind of obvious. 
There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess you should probably use that. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, Listen, I have a favor to ask. <laughs> a favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, um, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here that I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us in here. Whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right, we never know when they might attack. Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe... Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, I should just head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around school, I've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening up the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. Depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Let's go new... I'm not going to teleport right now. Because right now we only have one floor and there's no real point in teleporting. New... Oh, there's... Okay. They're gonna... They're they're a fun pair. Hey, well, look who it is! Sup, guys! What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to... I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Hmm. We have to find some way to get out of here, no matter what. Um... And that's why you went off with Hina and Toka? However... Well, he is the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Ah, understandable. New. New. Okay, there we go. Also, I love the music. Here's a fun fact: the person who, uh, like made the music actually made it without looking at any game footage because he didn't want to get spoiled to anything going on. Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. It's a helmet of sorts. Why is this? Why is something like that on display? A plaque. Guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why something like that on display? Some terracotta clay figures. They don't look like any kind of thing you'd put in a high school gym. And then the sword. Is this a sword? Oh, no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched it. I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. Maybe it'll help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you better be careful about taking it back. You should wrap it in a newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Hmm. I don't see anything that I can really use for self-defense. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right now, right? Plus, if anything were to happen... When the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If you, if I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I could tell it comes from her heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a little bit more. Flirt, 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 flirt. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one that invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. 
I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. Maybe we can just, I don't, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> Oof. Uh, um. No, it's not that it's boring. It's just I... I've never really done it before. I, I don't have a lot of time just to do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but Makoto, do you have a dream? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. She could sing and dance. But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decide that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were actually able to fulfill your life on dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see, I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off it, off your dream, not even for a second. Sometimes if it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. It's that kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun. What? But that's exactly what scares me. Uh, um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. She's worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Um, well, they say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Sayaka? What? I can't afford Why? to be stuck here! That was the first time I heard her cry from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here, this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with just a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um... I kinda killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, do you want to go to the dining hall and get some food? So, okay. you want me to make some uh, something to eat? Might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, some kind of neutral expression. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat, before returning to our rooms.
The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it did is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely, so you guys can hear it. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. <laughs> Bruh. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them even a better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by and early often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful to everything pl as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to deepen, develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that when you talk to, with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Mizuno? She's a pretty ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Oops, I just hit my vitamin water. My voice is hurting, but I love it. I hope it's been decent, though. Like, I hope my voice acting doesn't completely suck. I guess I should press the doorbell. Um, you know, Makoto, I was so anxious, I really am afraid. Should I talk? Yes! Um, Are you going to try to cheer me up? Sorry. sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? Uh, I don't have a present to give her. Um, Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? W what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you weren't here with me, I don't know what I would do. I'd be so lost. But that's why... Oh, thank you. I hate that we that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're here with me. Sayaka, standing here face to face and hearing her say that, it's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. <sighs> <R> really? <laughs> thank you for the flattery. That smile, that mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get the chance to really talk to you like this. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be the best part, because I already know what's gonna happen. My enjoyment is gonna come out of watching y'all freak out, because oh boy. Fun times are up ahead, fun times. Uh, if I could get the lid back on my fudge, I'm just gonna... I just threw my lid into the wall. <laughs> All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't go around staring at you. Wait, how did you know that I never looked at hey, you? Um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I, I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. Nah, man, I'm sure she'll die. The text is written in that way. <laughs> Placed your bets now. You wanted to talk to me? But, but since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Do you remember your first year of junior high? That huge bird that wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was out of a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand. Huge bird that wandered into a school pond during the middle. First year of junior high. Yeah, dude. I'll try to be as frequent as possible. Once school starts and it'll get a bit hectic, I might try to do weekends. 
I think it's a crane. It was a crane. It just walked right into the okay. pond. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big. The teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was only... Oh, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at the school. They made me do it. You see. I should have said thank you then, but it's okay if I do it now. This is a game you can play with every game. Making a betting pool about who will die and win. Yeah, that's the best part about these games. It's literally just who's gonna die next and who's the one who did it. Okay, uh, okay, everyone, place bets right now. Not you, uh, Ryu. Uh, that's Ryu, right? Power C. I'm pretty sure that's Ryu. Um, but Pedro and Liana, place your bets now for one, who's gonna die, two, who's gonna do it. I want to see it, right now. Sayaka will die first, I know that. Who do you think is going to supposedly kill her if she is to die first? I'm not giving anything away. I will not confirm or deny anything. From the black and white chick, the Celeste. Okay, so you're saying Aoi will die. Who do you think uh, is going to kill Aoi? So we have, okay. Oh, Kyoko, the, the mystery chick. Okay, so we have Celeste is gonna kill Sayaka and Kyoko gonna kill Aoi. Okay, let's see how this turns out then. Thank me? I... I'm that crane, you see? I've come back to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. What? Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even if just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I'd get my chance. Yeah, if we met again at a train station somewhere downtown, then make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. At the bare minimum, one, one of you is wrong. At night, too, because she, uh, she said no uh, at night, she'll be able to kill someone. Oh. Oof. You see? It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said that. The closer we got, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I'm glad- I was glad to feel that way. Oh yeah, the other games are great. Okay, honestly, second game, best game. I like this game, but second game's the best. Just unlock the skill mel Melodist voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. Yay! Melodist voice time! I saw the stream stop briefly. Oh, it shows no dropped frames on my end. That's weird. I have no idea. Okay, everything's fine now? Fine now? Good? Good? Chill? Good? Okay, cool. That would be bad. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Okay, also, when it comes to the, uh, the, the, the free time stuff, I'm gonna let you guys decide who we hang out with. Uh, so whoever's there, if no one's there, I'll choose it myself, but if anybody's, like, actually in chat, I'll have you guys pick who we're gonna hang out with. Oh, yeah. Third game's great. I know, like, I'm not gonna spoil anything about the ending, but I could see definitely why people didn't like the ending. I was on board the entire time. Uh, by on board, I couldn't handle it. Like, I was freaking out the entire time. But I was completely on board with what it was saying. Because I didn't care. But I'm not gonna spoil anything for people that don't know what's going on. I'm not gonna spoil anything because it's... Ooh, it's great. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a 
school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Yeah. Soon the door also, to the, the two fake out endings. I was like, an entry at that point I, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into it anything further. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about the third game when we get around to the third game. I am gonna make a video about talking about the entire franchise. Because I freaking love the entire franchise, and it's gonna be a long freaking video. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. After he's done with all the games, I'm gonna rewatch the anime. <laughs> Probably, I'm going to have to rewatch it. I'm going to read through uh, Danganronpa Zero. Right now, I'm actually reading through the uh, the 39 Clues series to get that video done. I'm still only on the first book because I just haven't really done anything. But I'm almost done with it. But, oh my goodness. I can, like, I, I'm enjoying the book. But there's so many holes where it's like, um, you what? Just make it under 40... Yeah, the Danganronpa video is probably not going to be under 40 minutes, unless I literally split it into each game. We're talking about each thing. Unless I make it a series of four videos, which I could do if it turns out to be super long. That that might be a better idea, where I talk about the first game, talk about the second game, talk about the third game, uh, and then add the uh, maybe like zero uh, Ultra Despair Girls and the third game together and then finish off with the uh the the final game so far it, it'll be a long it'll be like what whatever i choose to do it's gonna be either a very very long video or a long series of videos days already come to an end i swear tomorrow i'm gonna find some kind of clue i swear sneepy time as my eyes began to slide close, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her. No, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Sure, you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. Seems like our newest students, already so filled with despair, have still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it that time yet? Is it time? Pounding excitement. <laughs> Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Morning has come. What should I do today? Free time time! Okay, uh, y'all, you guys are gonna have to, uh, choose who we hang out with. And that includes, let me check everyone. That includes, uh, not Makoto, you can't hang out with yourself. Uh, Taka, uh, Byakua, Mondo, Leon, Hifumi, y Hiro, Sayaka, Kyoko, Aoi, Toko, Sakura, Celeste, and they don't even bother to add Ludenberg. Heck off. Uh, Junko, Junko, uh, Inoshima, and Jihiro Fujisaki. By the way, I'm just saying, Chihiro best girl. Fight me on it. Allie, hang out with Allie. Uh, Liana, do you agree with this decision? Or are you gonna have to rock, paper, scissors this? Actually, we'll go Allie and then we'll choose whoever Liana picks. 
leave this area. Let me find, where is Owie? Toko's just in her room. Hey, there's Chihiro and Aoi. There's Chihiro, where's Aoi? Uh, Eskumi. You said you were around here. Girl, oh, there you are. Hmm. Pushing on him doesn't help, smacking him doesn't help. What the heck am I going to do with these yeah. things? Oh, sorry, I'm talking about the metal plates covering up all the windows. Oh, I know. We should try grabbing the top and yanking down on them. Uh, should I talk to with Hina for a while? You yep. got it. Drifting mechanic is so cool. I just call it drifting. I just find it fun. You want to do some stretches with me? Also, I can't. I know I can't go high. I know my girl voices are awful. Uh, I'm trying though. Followed Hina's lead and did some more elaborate stretching. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Uh, I don't have one, so we can't really. Oh man, oh man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come? Does it matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Mm. Really? I used to notice this one guy. He was always like, Hey, now you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. I'm trying to remember exactly how long until events X, Y, or Z is going to happen. Uh, I hate to break it to you. I think two days. I think we have today and tomorrow. And then stuff starts going sideways. That was kind of annoying. I like Aoi. I like Hina. Hina's cool. Hina's just very excitable. Yeah, he likes. He'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. But if he leaves to the cold like that, it just means he weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? Getting sick is for the week. Getting sleep is for the week. Anything is for the week as long as I'm better than people. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothing. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So you're like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay, I've got a perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this to my, do this myself every morning. Strip down to your waist and take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it. I call it. Uh. Huh? What do I call it again? I would keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing towel across your Uh, towel treatment. You got it. Boy. <laughs> idiot <laughs> oh my god yeah that's it i love going out to my <laughs> oh Ooh. god feels so amazing i never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down wait so you go on your balcony <laughs> and you were okay with that <laughs> you should give it a try if you haven't got your health you haven't got anything i didn't see you catch a cold or something he just report got gets updated based on your experience with her maximum number of skill points that's agrees hey look at you go <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> Climbing up your towel. Suck your cup, man. Look at me go. <laughs> Being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. She makes me feel lazy, and I'm the one playing the game. I feel insulted. Still lots of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Next person. Let's take a look around. Thank you, next. Bring up the list again. also a good guessing game how many people are going to survive and who place your bets oh that's good 
So Sayaka next? Sure. Shiri's in her room. Kyoko's in her room. This man's in the boys' bathroom. They're doing laundry. He's in the kitchen. They're in the dining hall. Oh, there's Sayaka. There we go. Out for a walk, Makoto? I wouldn't mind if you invited me along. Hmm. Hmm, should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Yeah. Okay, so... You're saying Aoi, Kyoko, and maybe Junko. So you're saying that Aoi's gonna live to the very end. Okay, cool. Okay, three or four being the main character, Aoi, Kyoko, and Junko. Junko's the maybe. And then... Liana, how many are you betting? How many and who? Sorry, excuse me. I'll hang out with Sayaka while you're thinking. Okay, let's go for a walk. I think it'll help cheer both of us up. I enjoyed a long, leisurely walk with Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give? Uh, I don't have a present. Listen, may I ask you just one question? So polite again. What's going on? And so polite again. I'd like to ask. Do you have a girlfriend? But you have a boyfriend. I guess he doesn't kiss ya. Okay, Taka, Sayaka, Ky uh, Kyoko, and Makoto. Who do you think... Okay, so if there's going to be five, who's the last one? We have Junko being the optional fist for Pedro. And, and we'll do the same thing at the end of each chapter. Like, as stuff changes, who do you think is going to survive? Celeste. Okay, so Celeste is the optional fifth. What? That's, like, way out of nowhere. Huh? Are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? N no, I don't. Girlfriend, not at all. Listen. I'm single. Please, date me, please. <laughs> You're ignoring the red herring Siaka's dying first. What if they are red herrings? What if Siak is not dying first? Hmm. I'm giving no indications. Then do you at least have a crush on someone? Just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking me all these questions? I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It's not that it's bad. I... But it's only natural I'd be curious, right? Because we're... We're... <laughs> Because we're classmates going through the same thing together. Classmates? <clears throat> yeah. Friend zone, bucko. Bruh. But... Although, that's not all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. Say friends, do it. Say friends, do it to him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she did it to him! <laughs> she did it to him! <laughs> <laughs> that is a big oof. <laughs> We're friends. Yeah. I love how you say Sayaka is gonna live to the end. And Pedro thinks she's gonna die first. I love how you say that Aoi's gonna live to the end, but then Aoi's gonna die first. <laughs> Great going, guys. We're friends. We've been friends since middle school, in a way. That's true. Yeah, we're friends, of course. Uh, um, so, are you, aren't you gonna ask me? Huh, what? Um, no, not what. Aren't you gonna ask if I have a boyfriend or not? I mean, it's not that I don't want to know. Of course I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if oh, you did. No. Nope, I definitely don't. The truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. Then, do you have a crush on someone? Please say yes, please say yes, please say yes. Hmm, I wonder. 
Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Sigaraka stared straight into my eyes. I could swear her cheeks were tingling with red. Wait, me? But, but I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out of here is all that matters. Yeah, you're right. Hey, um... Let's get out of here together, Makoto. No matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? Of course, I would never turn my back on but, you. Um... I want you to know something, Makoto. I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with power. It's like her smile was a source of pure energy. My friendship with her is one source of my courage. My bond with her makes me stronger. So I have to do my best in here. For myself and for Sayaka. <laughs> so happy you're going to do your best for me. What? You heard me? Like I said, I'm psychic. Okay. I just don't... Um... But is that really what you were thinking? Um, well... Anyway, let's just get out of here. Let's just help each other out and get out of here, no matter what it takes. I'm gonna do my best for sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. I'm gonna do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. Sayaka's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Maximum number of skill points increased. Hey, look at me go! After bowing to Sayaka, I to give it my all. I went back to my room. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Our third day here has already come to an end. When will I know we when when are we going to get out of here? I love watching you guys argue. This is amazing. I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling, and before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. I need an immediate fast acting pick me up. If it didn't, oh. if it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving it to regret. What do you do? Oh, fudge. What is this, like, wording? What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the standard Which world. Is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, 0 0.000002 seconds later. <laughs> okay, maybe she can. I'm not saying she is, but maybe. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Not the first one. Understandable. I woke to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice as I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Ugh. Another day of restless- another night of restless sleep, day after day. I feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. What up, B? What's poppin'? Hey! A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption, without- Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Uh, boy, what you doing in here? What's up, Taka? <laughs> no matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fail as long as my feet are firmly planted. Oh, 
Okay, so you're thinking that Sayako is going to not make it to the end now? You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure if I understand. If you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. I was thinking about it last night. I decided we really need, we all <laughs> need to really come together. That's why I realized every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should come at breakfast together. And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please enter the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That is all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Have you heard the good word? <laughs> have you heard of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? <laughs> he just turned to the left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better go to the he head to the dining hall. Fight, 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 fight. I'm not gonna say hi to Toku. She scares me. Actually, she doesn't scare me. She just really annoys me. Oh, what up, peeps? Oh, what's poppin', Pete? Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time and your busy schedules to come together. I don't make time for anything. You dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to, in order to get out of here, it's essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. From now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. You want me to bre <laughs> eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that b before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> no, that's Junko's voice. Wow. Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with anything, with any clues? Silence echoed through the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. Could be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What? Don't freaking joke about that! <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gotten completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Have you got Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, it sounds like the girl what? who wants to live here. And more power to her, but no way I'm going to be living here. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't care. <laughs> sure, feel free. Huh. Uh... Okay, so nobody had us any clues. One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped here in the first place? Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Um... Aww. Um, what's up? Um, if you think in terms of people who are abnormal or bizarre... Do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Got it. Certainty is our concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? See so, how well you can read this game room. For Celeste, because I'm not getting into it because of this. And Leon is... Don't know who took her kills yet. <laughs> the monstrous villain who murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whatever it is, it, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. On the internet, they started calling him hmm. Genocide Jack. That's about covers it, I think. 
They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. And if he really is Ultimate Psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But, but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if they're... But if they're the killer... Isn't that like a killer of a prop... Wait. Isn't that like a killer? That makes no sense. If they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Is that like a bad problem? To, okay, never mind. Let's just keep moving. It's okay. Everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt going to be okay. Because help's going to be here soon, I'm sure of it. Huh? Help? I mean... We've been stuck here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us. I'm sure they're getting worried. Bet they'll call the police already. <laughs> Look who's come to ruin your day. What's this? Oh, what's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Bastard. What are you doing here? You guys. You guys, seriously. Do you understand what role the police exist to fill? They're all, all they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that just shows how badass they really are. Are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on! If you really, really want to go out of, get out of here, all you gotta do is kill! <laughs> what the hell? What are you laughing at? You know? I'm just impressed with total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? Sorry, I'm reading through all your stuff. Sorry, I was reading through all your stuff. You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak, what do you, what do you want? <laughs> Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak, huh? That's a pretty, that's a pretty long name. German, maybe. Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun and a couple days have gone by and nobody's killing anybody. Hmm. I just thought you kids were lazy and selfish and here you are looking for working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you could say that- Oh, there's nothing you could say that'll make us start killing each other. I Wait, I think- Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here, right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I could not understand. But I realized that's what, that there was one very important piece missing. What are you... If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive! It's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What are you talking about? Hey. Oh, by the way, there's something I really want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the subject. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Oh, oh but don't exciting. worry, it's not some perfect adult video or anything. But seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hehe. <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good, then we can w go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know, what are you? 
Why would you do something like this? Time for things to get interesting. What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Just there. That's all. Well now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Mm. Do whatever you need to uncover the secret hidden within this school. I won't try to stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you too. He's gone. And once again, he's left us before we could figure out anything Is useful. That right? Really? Because I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in our way of, the, of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However, perhaps. But what's... What, what about the video we mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mono started glancing around the dining hall. When his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto, check this out for... Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would you? Huh, why me? Yo. Because you're close to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus. Hey, God. hey. Hey, 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 hey! Jesus. Hey! Stop fucking you see around. how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, I guess I'll get going Hell then. Yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Ikata's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of yous. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Um... Isn't there also a game where the like, phone letters are coming in? Yeah, that's not how this works. I can't decide if Mondo's totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. Not exactly a bad person, but I can't definitely can't. But I definitely can't say he's a good person either. Then where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? Must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but if it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then I know exactly where to go. It's the AV room, of course. Wait. Oh, store's open. Wait. I'm gonna go check that place out. Go get some gifts. Ooh, what's this? Maybe if I turn the knob, the prize will come out. <laughs> Got a skull. Thank you very much. I'm not giving you nothing. I, don't, I want one go. There we go. Oh, we get going. Yeah, that's a good idea. AV room. Let's go. Oh, what's this? Huh? There's something inside this cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs. Each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. Hold on a I second. better go tell everyone else. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. I'll probably play these DVDs no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before anyone else gets here. Sort through all the DVDs I found in the box and found the one with my name on it. And I slid into the expensive looking geek player. Sat down staring intently at the darkened screen. And then... I yelled out without realizing it. My heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor... 
it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching us, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here and now, it was totally different. I wasn't living it in ordinary school life. So I had a pretty strong feeling that this video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out that I was absolutely right. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looked like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized that voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Seek Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. What is this? What happened, everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe? I noticed everyone standing around the entrance of the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um, what's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is, it like Is that what Monokumu was talking about? What's, this mean? what's on them? They all gathered around the box. Each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to the monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What? The what? This can't be real, right? This has to be fake, hey, right? Yeah, no way this is real. <laughs> no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew. They'd all seen something similar to what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave, so we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It's the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, but both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each Do other. In other words, the fear of the invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that sounds like us, like us right now. Everyone says that we'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You could say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? what? Hey. This is... This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We need to calm down. So then. Okay then, maybe we should start all this by just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Mm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what's on everyone's videos. I'd be lying to say if I wasn't curious. Hey Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayako? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on my shoulder on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to make sure that she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what ha happens to her. That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go... Then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? Why don't we... Why... We don't have to... Fudge, I keep screwing up. 
We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Go check her room. I don't know. Maybe she's in her room. Sayaka? No answer. I guess I just have to keep looking. Uh, I don't know where she is. Fudge. Laundry room. Nothing here. Great. Girls' bathroom. I don't know. Oh, come on. Could be there. Have you seen her? What was in your video, huh? Celeste? Oh, it's you. <laughs> you really want to know, don't you? That smile, it's strangely scary. Okay? There are many, many worlds in this... <laughs> many, many things in this world that you are better off not knowing, don't you think? Well, oof then. Uh, Dining hall. Back kitchen of dining hall. I completely forget. Okay, she's not here. One of the classrooms? Yep, there she is. Okay, cool. That was a guess. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face you could call emotion. It's as if her original mask had been stripped away. Siaka, are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no, how could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are there such terrible things to us? I want out, let me out of here right now! Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. I understand, I know how you feel right now. When I think what might have happened to my family. But no mat but now more than ever we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it, those videos have to be fake. Because if those things have really happened. People out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that- If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what came, came over me. Sayaka? Please, help me! Her voice was small and Why? shaky. Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore! Sayaka. <gasps> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can I... Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out. No matter what it takes. A absolutely. Makoto. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust. So please. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Uh-huh. Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, 
You are my assistant, after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile had come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement after over how she was before. Hey! Hey! And this is what you call a ruined moment. It's standing up. <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up. What's standing up? Come on. Do you even have to ask? No, no, I want to join in. If you won't leave, then tell us what is up with those videos. Ah, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out. I balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Gwah! Are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow! I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner by the time it took for you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking! Um... What the heck What the heck was that just now? He want just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um... Well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good movie it just created. Sayaka and I head back to our dorms. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right, I'm gonna go to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my own room. It was hard to tell it to, it was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I need some rest of my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems, I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in that video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here, but I can never kill someone. Do the others feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. Next time I'm going to stream this game? Uh, I don't know. I'll announce it in my Discord. Um, if you... I could try the stream, like, scheduling function. I've never tried it before. But if you join my Discord... Hey, wait, let me... That's where I do all my announcements and stuff. So if you want to know, like, what's going on and, like, stuff happening, that's that's where it'll be. I, it was a mistake doing two unlisted streams because it, it hurts people that isn't in the Discord, but, you know. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come ever someone's here? I will say, Sorry. I will say. Wait, you might... I, I will be finishing up soon. And you'll know why. I will be finishing up soon. But you might want to stay for just a little bit. I'm just saying. You might want to stay. Stuff's about to go down. 
I'm really sorry it came by so late. Siaka? Siaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by that I got up and opened my door to check outside. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not that I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if someone like that... What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during but... the night time. But that's just the promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise... Then why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? Oh, what? All it said in the uh, school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing one room is, you know... Uh, oh, jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Um, no, I know me either. It's not even that I mind the idea, but... Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms? Just for tonight. Switch rooms? If it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like concern you? It's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's right, we'll have to trade keys. Again? I said, I'm psyched. Huh? You, hey, you aren't going to say that you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made her, had made its way on her face. Thank goodness, it looks like she's already starting to get back to normal. Uh, okay, we'd better trade keys okay. then. Okay, yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys, and, and when I looked back up at her, her again, there was another worried expression there. Um, Makoto, please be careful. If somebody comes into to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my ba my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob and lift the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open up, no problem. Um, okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. <laughs> But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I'd better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before. Hmm? <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the mo- See you in the morning. Sayaka gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off to my room. I looked around as soon as I got out in the hall. Everyone's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Just making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. The room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka has a sewing kit. Just like the note said. Next to it, 
is the map of the body's vital organs. The bed itself looks exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka slept there makes me... <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's privates. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was on her video. That's probably... It's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself onto Sayaka's bed, pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Nope. Maybe you'll bring me some sweet dreams. Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. Also, I, I wonder if it's just the translation that makes it weird. Because it, this game was originally in Japanese, so I'm wondering if like the translation made it weird. Or screwed some stuff up. Like, it not like well like in natural English. Imagine you're on a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cogs, drunk... <laughs> <laughs> Drunk drivers are pyromaniacs. We don't have to worry about the ozone layer, asthma-inducing air pollution. Of and of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, but even if our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly so then, clear. Let's to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Bam, bam. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another bee! I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. I left Sayaka's room and made my way towards the dining hall. A few people had already gathered in the dining hall before, and by the time I got there, Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very, I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers, and the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning aunt Dooney took a little longer than usual. We're the types, we're the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers would fall into this category. Finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad. My, my bad, bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? Why is it so awful to be late? Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope, I got lost. I blame them for being a triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're just kind of moved to their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least, that's how it was supposed to go. Mm. Wait, are we missing some people? Yes, yeah, Siaka and Byakuya have aren't even here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Siaka on the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? No. Hey man, have you seen Siaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um, Didn't she forget about our breakfast promise? However. I get the sense she always I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside me. That speck started to grow quickly. I I need to go. I have to go check on her. The world had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I'd let Siaka stay for the for a single night. 
where she was supposed to be safe, but over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. W what? This is the replica sword that I brought back for self-defense. It had been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? The bed's been damaged too. I better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. I will say right now. Sorry, uh, parental unit came in. I will, I will just say that even though I knew exactly what was going to happen, I still had a ginormous pit in my stomach and my heart was beating. Like, I think I'm sweating right now. Because, oh my god, even if... I knew what was going to happen. I knew exactly what was going to happen. I was still nervous. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw, what I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. And that's where we're going to end it. This is not a joke, I'm going to end it right here. I've been streaming for almost two and a half hours. I'm hungry, I want to go eat. Also, because I know people have to go, it's like 8.30 for me. <laughs> this game doo-doo. We're going to end it here and we'll figure out who... Because what I want to do next stream is I want to do the investigation phase and the trial. And that's going to be a while. So I don't want to extend this out even further. Because then it'll probably turn into a four hour stream. And I've already been streaming for two and a half hours. So thank you guys for being here. This has been a blast. I can't wait to play again. I'm gonna just overwrite that. But welcome to Deadly Life. Sayaka just died. Congratulations, Pedro, for guessing that completely correctly. You were on the nose about that. I will not tell you about the killer, though. No spoilers. Not letting anything on. I'm glad I didn't make you guys doubt that, uh... Glad I didn't make Leanna doubt that Leanna, uh... That Siaka was going to survive. You really did. You fully hit those red flags perfectly. Yeah, it was really obvious that she was gonna die. I will say. But, uh, let's just say... Who dies from here on out is a lot less obvious. So, yeah. Also, trial's gonna be fun watching you guys try to figure out who the killer is. By the way, uh, I will, I will say right now that even if you think you know who the killer is, it's probably not who you're thinking. This isn't for anyone's bet. This is just a general rule of even if you think you know exactly what happened, Danganronpa knows you know. <laughs> Danganronpa knows you know what you think happened and takes that expectation 
and throws it out the window and takes you for a 45 minute joyride of you not knowing any idea what's going on. And it's fantastic. That's why I love this series. You never know what's going to happen next. So, I'm going to save again just to make sure. And we're going to end the stream here. So, thank you guys for watching. If you join Discord, uh, I will have more announcements there. We will probably be streaming tomorrow, actually, because I have nothing else that I'm doing that I can think of. Uh, so I will be there then. But if you have... Turn that notification bell on so you can see whenever I upload. Yeah! Yeah, it's been fun. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching this. Uh, if you guys want to catch up on the other streams, I will put the playlist right here. Uh, right there if you want to check it out. That's all the previous ones. And this stream, once it's finished rendering, will be added to it after the fact. So thank you guys for being here and for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!